Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt head. The Big Ten about to kick off. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. will be kicking off and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today they'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Johnson gets the ball. They'll get him for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. three-yard line. Huffman is back to receive. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Barber's a guy that you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Herbie. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. He's tackled at the 27 yard line.
open man. Quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Johnson pulls the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Brought down right around the 10 yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He's taken down at the 10-yard line. No gain. That brings him second and goal. Pitch, look out, loose ball, picks up the fumble. He steps out at about the 13. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. You ain't going nowhere. From the 13-yard line, third down. And he hits him hard at the 20. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The Nittany Lions linebacker had come out of this game earlier with an injury. We don't know for certain, but it looks like he might be able to get back in this one. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Aggies were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? And for Georgia, they remain perfect. Georgia pulls it out by a field goal. In another game, the Panthers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. And for Colorado, they've won two straight. The Buffaloes make Ralphie happy with the win, 28-24. Reese. 3-0 here. Nebraska is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Good outside run there. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. Second, five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 30. Takes it right and brought down right away. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Here we go. Throws it deep, and they make the stop at about the 15-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Ready. 
What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreet. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 7-3. Parker looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Mike 51, Mike 51. Tackle right around the 20. and hit hard as he came down with it. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He throws right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Richardson, the return man. And this one is a beauty. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Down he goes, the 39-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 39. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He goes downtown. Can't pull it in. Penn State is up by four. Wants to throw outside. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. They come out in a five wide set. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Almost intercepted there. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. And he's level at the 36. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker.
The kick is away. It's long enough. And he missed it right. No good. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pressured and run down. You know, that time, I think he saw the pressure was coming. He tried to make a play as a quarterback, and I can understand that. But eventually, you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack. That is a minus for the quarterback. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Gets to around the 42. Under pressure, and he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. That makes it more than 12. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-3, Nittany Lions. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Johnson is the punter. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State holds a four-point lead. He lets it fly. Oh, what an interception. They'll bring him down at about the 49. decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Carries the ball for a nice game. Oh, gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Come on, team. Yeah. 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 Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. Richardson makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. That'll make it 31. Mike,
didn't sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on the 21. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. That makes it 37. Quick throw, and he's tackled in the open field. They'll drop him for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. And he is drilled at the one. Tackled just outside the goal line. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, time to dock the boat in Knoxville. The Volunteers are victorious, 24-17. In other games, time to hit the perfect note and take you to Nashville. And for Vanderbilt, they've now dropped three in a row. The Gators get the two-touchdown victory. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he hits him hard at the 14. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 14-yard line. He's taken down at the 13. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Take him down immediately. Huffman is back deep to return. He's at midfield. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Barber's had great games before. I'm sure he's going to have more in the future. Right now in the first two quarters, it's not his ball game, but you've got to give his teammates some credit. Well, I think his teammates deserve all the credit at this point. I, I think this defense that they're facing is so focused on taking him out of the game 
then it's opening up other areas for this offense to be able to execute. And to this point, they've done that. And collectively as a team, they're playing pretty well. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. him down for a loss. That's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave him no chance to get the first. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He gets it away and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game, despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Yeah. Brought down at the 20-yard line. from their own 20-yard line. Second down. James gets it on the inside, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Five wide. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. About two minutes before halftime. This one is batted away. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Johnson to punt. And he's taken down at the 37. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up by three. Strike to his receiver, no good. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed him. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. He passes it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That'll make it fourth and ten. Richardson is the deep man awaiting the return. Booming kick. 
taken down at the 19. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. Slides down. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. That shows a lot of maturity for a freshman corner to sniff out the run and make that tackle. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. got drilled. Pretty good job by the return man there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up a field goal. Gets it out in a hurry. Tackle around the 22-yard line. scrambling decides to tuck it in and he's got space and down he goes at the seventh throws to the receiver got it for the touchdown Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Flips it, middle to the running back. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Swings it out left to the halfback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. That brings him second and five. Throws complete, big loss. The Nittany Lions using their third and last timeout. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 40. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He's going to go for the home run. And it's picked off. We're half 
halfway through, and it's been a good one. Nebraska's got a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you've got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you've got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here? Got a good... A lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Red and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese Davis. Thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He sails it long. And he's level at the 44-yard line. him out at the 20. Tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So the score now, 24-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out in a five-wide set. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Fourth and long here after the sack. Huffman awaiting the return. Fields at the 44. He's tackled at the 49. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And they'll bring him down behind the line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Here we go. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Roger, Roger. Play 56, play Empty backfield, 56. quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. throw the quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down nice run up the middle From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. converts the extra point. A seven-play, 49-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 31-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Nittany Lions have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. They come out in an empty backfield. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Well, he isn't one of the best players in the country for nothing, Kirk. He is just relentless in his pursuit of the quarterback. He is certainly a first-class pass rusher.
Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 29. That'll bring up third and six. tackled at the 29-yard line. Johnson is waiting for the snap. Huffman fields it at the 38. What a collision! They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync and really the timing and execution. And he will score. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying the offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He splits the uprights with the extra point. to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Five wide. He wants it all going long. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. James gets the carry. He makes it to the 32-yard line. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Hey, we gotta get to the ball, team. We gotta get to the ball. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Hey, ready. 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 They go with a run, and he's gonna be stopped short. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 21. Nebraska comes to the line in complete control in this game. Red, 
He's out to the 30. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Complete and he stopped immediately. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle right around the 44 yard line. it to the 21. And down he goes around the 10-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cornhuskers lead 38-7. Folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Nebraska in control. He fights forward to about the seven. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the seven. Outside after a nice pickup. Gaining five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Here's play number ten on the drive. That's a three. Pass. By 56. By 56. They get in. Touchdown. That's his third trip to the end zone. I know this defense prepared for his running ability, but even so, boy, he's had a great day. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. First down. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That'll make it second and four.
They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around to 40. on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Johnson awaits the snap. And he's taken down at the 37. Nebraska has proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Nebraska up big right now in this one. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. 56, 56. Let's go. Let's play at Makes it out to about the 39. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and ten, ball on the 39. Big opening. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. This offense has been driven by this young man with four touchdowns. He is the definition of a dual threat. A guy who can beat you with his arm or his feet like he's doing today. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Wait till you see what just happened in Buffalo. And for Washington, he finishes with a pair of touchdown passes. The Bulls win it by three. Reese, this one was never close, and it's not going to get close. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. At the 30. Steps out of bounds. At about the 35. The Cornhuskers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten.
from midfield. First down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Let's go! Got it. And he goes down quickly. That'll bring up third and inches. That's third, third. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Waller gets the ball. They bring him down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. The Nittany Lions are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. This is the eighth play of this drive. Watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. They come out in a five-wide set. <laughs> He gets sacked on the play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Just under two to go in the game. Here's the give. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Three yard line. It's first down. He gets out to about the 21 yard line.
carries the ball for a nice game. This one was never close today. Nebraska, 52, Penn State, 7. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, I'm shocked by the final score. I expected this to be a close game. Penn State got flat out embarrassed, and these players sure look disappointed. They just got to learn to move on and try to improve. That wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.